In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use dimensional analysis to solve a problem that doesn't seem to be it's n a normal dimensional analysis problem. By this, I mean we are not dealing with converting units of length, time, volume, area, mass, or any of that. Here we have a child who is prescribed a dosage of 12 milligrams of a certain drug. He is allowed to refill his prescription twice. If there are 60 tablets in a prescription and each tablet has 4 milligrams, we want to know how many doses are in the 3 prescriptions. There's 3 because there's the original plus the 2 refills, 3 prescriptions. To solve a problem like this, we want to first identify what we're trying to do, and then we'll also see if we can identify some conversion factors that are given to us in this information. The question's asking, how many doses are in the 3 prescriptions? So we know there are 3 prescriptions, and we want to know that's equal to how many doses. That's our goal. To do this, we're going to need some conversion factors. Reading our information, we see several connections between one of this is the same as so much of that. For example, we see there are 60 tablets in a prescription. This means 60 tablets, I'll use T, is equal to 1 prescription. We also see each tablet, one tablet, is equal to 4 milligrams. We are also told the size of a dose. A dose is 12 milligrams. One dose is equal to 12 milligrams. We now have everything we need to solve this problem. With dimensional analysis, we start with what we have and make it a fraction. 3 prescriptions, and make it a fraction over 1. We then can start setting up conversion factors. First, we need to get rid of the prescription, because we're looking for doses, so we need to put them in the denominator. Looking at our conversion factor, what can we change a prescription into? We can change prescriptions to tablets, because we know there are 60 tablets in one prescription. However, we still need another conversion factor, because all we've done is gotten rid of the prescriptions, and the question's not asking about tablets, it's asking about doses. To get rid of the tablets, which are in the numerator, we need to put them in the denominator. What can we change a tablet into? We're told that one tablet is 4 milligrams. We can change it to milligrams. 4 milligrams in one tablet. We now can divide out the tablets, and we now know how many milligrams we have. However, we're still not looking for milligrams, so we're going to change the milligrams, using the other conversion factor, into doses. The milligrams in the numerator will divide out with milligrams in the denominator and change into doses. One dose is 12 milligrams, and finally the milligrams divide out, and we have the doses that we're looking for. Finally, we will multiply across to see what we end up with. 3 times 60 times 4 times 1, is 720 doses over 1 times 1 times 1 times 12, and 720 divided by 12 gives us 60 doses. By reading the problem carefully and identifying some key conversion factors, and taking note of what we're looking for, we were able to use dimensional analysis to find out how many doses are in the 3 prescriptions.